My name is Jennifer Mason. I'm a neonatal nurse practitioner at Holston Medical Group. In addition to being a neonatal nurse practitioner, I'm also an instructor with ISR, which is Infant Swimming Resource. Infant Swimming Resource, or ISR, is a self-rescue method to help children or infants anywhere from six months to six years of age be able to know how to rescue themselves if they were to find the water and unattended. Childhood drowning is one of the leading causes of death for children ages one through four. We teach competence before confidence. So we're teaching the children how, if they were to make it to the water alone, that they could rescue themselves. We also teach them to have fun in the water, but that comes after they know what to do if they were to make it alone. We discourage the use of floaties or pedal jumpers in the water because it gives kids a sense of false confidence when they're in the water. If they were to make it to the water alone and, and not have those floaties, they wouldn't know what to do to be able to rescue themselves. We teach kids breath control first and foremost when we get in lessons, how if they were to fall into the water to hold their breath and be able to hold their air until they're able to find air and take a good breath and stay there until they're able to be rescued. Our lessons are every day, Monday through Friday for 10 minutes for a minimum of usually four to six weeks. Sometimes it's a little longer, sometimes it's a little less. The kids will learn from six months to when they're walking, how to roll over and float and to hold that float until they can be rescued. When they're a little bit older, we start working on the whole swim, float, swim sequence, which is roll back, get your air, flip over and swim some more and continue that sequence until they can get to safety. Beyond six years old, we recommend continuing swim lessons pretty much for life so that people are always competent in the water, um, no matter if it's a local swimming pool, lakes, anywhere that they could encounter water. For more information, visit holstonmedicalgroup.com.